Anyway, John Terry, listen. Oh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go there, shall we? Somebody okay, who loves his golf. Let's talk about John Terry then. I was gonna... Well, I'm a massive fan of John Terry. Okay. I always have been as, as a footballer. I think he'll be a fantastic leader. He was a good captain um, for most of his career. Um, and he's been at Aston Villa, what, three years now? I think he's been through a yeah. promotion, um, relegation battle. And then this year, defensively, they improved a lot. And he's got to take a, a lot of credit for that and improved them um, as a club defensively. And now he's probably been linked to a couple of jobs. I think he was linked to Bournemouth. He's obviously linked to Swansea. That's mm -hmm. the only one available at this moment in time. So... Why has he left? Well, because I think he puts himself in a situation where if a job does come up, and he normally does after eight to ten weeks of the season, let's be honest about it. And John Terry is going to put himself in there. You're going to think about it. If you're... Your age group, like my, my, with the players I play with, they suddenly get into this and get into that. You're thinking, well, what do I need to do to get there? If seen Gerard go to Rangers, done a brilliant job. Brilliant Look how job. well he's yeah. doing. Absolutely superb. Lampard did a good job at Derby. Went and got a dream job at Chelsea, which I'm sure John Terry down the line is thinking Chelsea would be the ultimate. Then you, you've got Rooney now who's at Derby and he's struggling at the moment because the finances, everything goes with it. Mm -hmm. So he's thinking, right, I want a bit of that now. I want to manage. I don't want to be the assistant. I don't want to be the guy who never does the interviews. I want to be the guy who does and turns up in the suit rather than the tracksuit and does all that stuff. And I think he's just about, he's probably ready for it. Do you think he's ready for a Premier League job? Um, well, I'm sure there'll be clubs, if someone after 10 weeks is looking for someone, might, yeah. he might get that Yeah, uh, I think so job. as well. But I think, ideally for him, I think it would be championship to start. Do you? I do, if you want to... If you want to Look at Lampard. I think he couldn't turn down that Chelsea opp opportunity. No, he couldn't, of course but not. But I think, it, let's be honest about it, I think another year in the Championship might have been the ideal scenario for him. Because you go into Scotland, and, and as good a job as um, Gerard's done, it's a two-club competition, isn't it? Yes, it's still pr the pressure's huge. And what he's done is absolutely uh, beyond me. He's, he's magnificent. Yeah. But something like that might have been a better option for yeah. him. Okay. Than going straight into the Premier League of the deep end because if I always believe if if you get an opportunity and you fail at the ice level, it's always going to be harder to get mm. back in. Somebody else to trust you. So mm. start a bit do, lower. Just quickly, as well, do you think it makes a difference if a player, as a man, an ex-player, is coming in as a manager that's been an absolute legend in the game and has won just about everything or has won everything? Well, I think he's been a part of it. I think. Mourinho trusted him massively when he was at Chelsea, and I think he would have had a lot to do. I was when you're um, a senior player or a captain, and you've got a coach, right? It, it, it's, it's different with cricket because I ran everything. As a captain, we had a coach who just basically organised nets. I was the one who picked the team. I was the one. What level was this at? Professional. Yeah, but what, what club or country? Well, club. Right, OK. But when you go to the country, it becomes slightly different. The coach has a bigger influence and the captain helps select the side alongside the coach. But he also has what, a group management, which I was on with England. So you have your three senior players and a younger one who are on a management committee. So they meet before the main team, okay. discuss tactics, and then address the rest of the team. Do you know where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, of so course. it's a group decision. And in football, I'm sure that's where it works as well. With Mourinho, he had his captain and a senior player and the old chat. So I think he's made to be a manager, John Terry. It's, mm. That's all he's known yeah. since he's been a young yeah. kid. OK. Well, let's put it out there. I'd like to hear from uh, you lot in Radio Land about whether or not you think JT's ready for the next step up. What is the next step up? Is it Championship or Premier League? And also, from football fans, I'm curious, do you think it makes a difference if your manager, not necessarily John Terry, but your manager has been there, done it and seen it as a player? Lots to talk about. One number to dial. Get involved. 08717 You're listening to me, Andy Goldstein. And, of course, the wonderful Darren Goff on Drive on TalkSport. With webuyandycar.com, hundreds of local branches, usually no more than 15 minutes away, leaving more time to enjoy the football. 